watch this, this, this. So I'm just gonna get right into it. So um this is my first wig tutorial right now. What I am doing is um uh, oiling my scalp. This is really important, just so you all know. Oiling your scalp that really helps your hair grow, especially under your wig cap. Um also what I did was I also put it around my edges. This is the thing when you use got to be glue. It can pull your edges out if you do not do it right. Uh, so this is what I encourage. Make sure you oil your edges, grease it, whatever you use. And um, then you want to brush your edges back. And that so doesn't it get caught <laughs> like where the um, where you use your got to be glue. So um, anyways, so right now what I am doing is I'm cutting my ears out. Uh, this this actually I saw this one girl do it and it really helps uh, it's so basically you have the form of how your wig is going to be in place already um, but anywho we're just gonna get right into it helps it gives that natural scalp look so under your um with under your wig is of course your wig cap um you don't want your wig cap to be dark or too light you want it to be the actual color of um your head if you were bald so what you can do is just take some powder that is your complexion and you just put it over the wig cap and um i i put it all i put it all over the cap one because if you have a full lace wig then it's like you can part it any way that you want to so um yeah I'll put the link in the description below. Okay, so right now what I'm doing, I'm going to use a, um, it's a glue. It's a wig glue. It's called Bond. Um, I never really tried it. Everybody uses, um, I think it's called Ghost Bond or something like that. Uh from the beauty supply store um but i wanted to try this i saw it was new and so i was like oh okay i'll try it i let you not it works um but just so you know you're going to need remover for that uh please don't snatch it off that's another way to lose your edges do not snatch your wig off like especially if you're gluing it down but what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna glue it around the edges and then 
it has its own little it looks like a little lip gloss tube so you can spread it i mean you can use like a little stick or whatever or you can just spread it with that So what I did was I put the uh, I put the wig down on top of the glue, um, and now I'm just gonna cut the lace. Um, just so you know, it is okay to sometimes sometimes you're going to have to cut the hair. Um, you're gonna have to cut the hair to get the shape that you want. Sometimes, uh, most of the time you have to cut um, around the ear. That way, you know, like if you want to put your hair in a ponytail or whatever the case may be, you have to cut around your ear. So that does include cutting the lace and cutting the hair, but it won't damage the wig. Also, um, when you're gluing the wig down, do not pull it. Don't pull it by, <clears throat> excuse me, don't pull it by the lace. Like you can pull it by the lace that's already there, but don't pull it by the hair because it will, it will pull the uh, hair out of the wig. Um, so right now, uh, I got the, um, wavy, well, not wavy, it's curly, but anyways, right now what I'm doing is spraying my hair with water, um, just to get the effect that I want, and then, um, you can use any type of foam, um, what I use is the foam that I use on my real hair, because I have natural hair, so it automatically curls up, so, you can use any foam to um, add to your hair, also to do your edges. And that's the foam that I use. Um, this is what you're going to use to do your edges. Um, you can also use the Got To Be Glue Styling Gel. Um, what I will say about that, you are going to have to wash that out. I mean, you're going to have to wash this out too, but the Styling Gel, it hardens so it probably will make your um, edges you know hard that's why most people prefer to use foam as well as myself or you can use both it's up to you they both work the same way so um yeah as much as you want to you're gonna have to wash it out anyway but this is my finishing look and um thank you for watching my first hair tutorial or wig tutorial see you later